What's going on you guys and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. So one thing that I noticed about a lot of people in the stock market, especially beginners, is they always hear the things to look at the filings, look at the 8K, look at the 10K, but they have no idea where to go. For example, when I first started looking at stocks and trying to learn as much as possible, I used to go on stock tweets and that's where I'd get my information from, which is completely the last thing that you want to do. Get opinions from random people online, whether it's Reddit, or whether it's from stock twists. Again, there's nothing completely wrong with that, but again, you wanna do your own research. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys where to go to look at SEC filings. So that way, at least you are able to do your own research and you're not as lost as I was when I first started in the stock market. So hopefully this video helps. And if you guys wanna see how to do that, that's all gonna be in this video. So stay tuned and you guys already know, cue that intro. When it comes to living in the internet era, one of the best things is you can literally Google anything. So in this case, we're gonna be Googling Edgar. And of course, you wanna know your good sources from your bad sources. So with that being said, you can see this is a .gov website, so that is definitely great. And if you don't wanna know what Edgar stands for, it stands for the Electronic Data Gathering Analysis and Retrieval System, which you don't really need to know. The only thing that you need to know is that by law, it's required for companies to send in their forms and file them to this SEC website. So we go, we're gonna go ahead and click on that link. And then from this point on, I know it looks a little bit confusing. And if you're here for the first time or you're still trying to understand stocks, it's actually pretty quite straightforward. All you gotta do is head, head over to this top right over here where it says company filings. You're gonna type in the company that you want. So in this example, we're gonna be looking at Apple. So you can type in the ticker symbol or you can type in the company name, it doesn't really matter. So after you hit search, you're gonna come upon this page over here. So now that we're on this company page, this is pretty straightforward and easy to get to where you wanna go. If you wanna look at the 10K, which is just like an annual report, it's all over here. If you wanna look at the 8K, it's all over here. On the left side over here, we have the latest filing. So as the recording of this video, it is January 30th. And then of course, Apple had earnings released just a few days ago. So that's all up here and it's been pretty quick. So this is gonna be all the recent stuff. And if you wanna look at company information, like the business address, it's all over here. But anyways, with that being said, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you can kind of play around and try to understand things. You can look at older reports to kind of get the hang of things. And again, this video's premise is just to kind of understand how to get to this part so that you don't have to rely off of stock tweets and random people on Reddit. But I mean, I can make a video on how to understand it in total. So let me know if you guys want to do that. Me, myself, I'm still learning because there's tons of things and we'll, we'll take a look at it. But I mean, at the end of the day, this is the first step in the direction and hopefully everyone will be able to get here and actually learn how to read for themselves, me, myself included. But anyways, let's take a look at how one of these reports look. So of course, this is the most recent. So we've got January 28th, 2022. So if we go ahead and click on that over here, we can see this is a Form 10Q and you have all the information over here. I mean, there's loads of information. I don't know if you guys can see this little bar down here but there's tons and tons of information most people will sit there here and go through all of this of course you can do that and that's probably what's best recommended but i mean at the end of the day if you want to look at the financials they're all over here um we can just go quickly go through this so that you guys can kind of see what you're looking at when you look at a 10q i mean one of the best things to look at is actually these paragraphs believe it or not a lot of it might seem like fluff but the thing about these documents and these filings is they have to be 100% accurate for the most part. So you can't really BS and bullshit when it comes to these documents. So all the real stuff is going to be here and you're not going to get this type of information on stock tweets or Reddit. Of course, people can regurgitate this information. But a lot of times people will spin it in a way that kind of makes the company look good, especially for the smaller penny stocks out there. Apple is a bigger corporation, so you're not going to really see too much BS when it comes to that but you are gonna see that when it comes to penny stocks. So just totally be careful with that, especially with SPACs and whatnot. But anyways, we're just gonna quickly go through here so you guys can kind of see how it looks. But anyways, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys were able to understand how to get here and hopefully you guys know that it's important to not kind of just rely off of random people on stock tweets and Reddit like I did. You'll lose a lot of money. So, I mean, you could make a lot of money, but you could also lose a lot of money. So if you guys wanna understand it's definitely a great idea to 
go on this page and kind of just walk through you don't have to understand everything right away again me myself included i don't really know too much every single thing on the sheet there's going to be stuff that a lot of us don't know but it's really not that bad because if you don't know something you can easily google it or you can just ask me and i'll get right back to you guys in the comments down below but anyways that's pretty much it for the video um again here's something that's pretty interesting so you can see that during the first quarter of 2022 the company released the following new products and here they are third generation of airpods and that's what i'm talking about you can kind of see these cool little new things that they add in the paragraphs and not just the financials so anyways that's going to be it for this video i know i said that felt like five times now but definitely leave a comment like and subscribe if you enjoy this content or if you learned anything perhaps that's it. Peace out, guys. And remember, everybody eats.